Well, hello there, all my juicing toward greatness friends. You know, it was only a matter of time before I started making videos, amateur videos in the kitchen about what I'm eating. And I'm gonna do this in one take, so please bear with me. I'm sure I'll evolve with this over time. So what I wanna show you is um, I'm gonna make some raw vegan wraps that are oil-free, and are using ingredients that came from my wonderful friend Alicia's garden next door. We did plant some things together, but she definitely was more of a gardener than I was. I'm a work in progress in that area. Thank you, Alicia. Um, so I'll show you the ingredients we have for the wraps, which I also may even try to do a sushi roll here. We'll see. We have some beautiful uh, greens. So I'm gonna use these green leaves as the wraps. We have some mint, basil, uh, the cilantro is actually store-bought because the cilantro kind of bolted on us. It's getting hot in Florida and a lot of parsley. So I'm gonna put all these inside of my uh, wraps that I make and it's kind of like a Thai theme, I would say. Okay, let's look at this array of wonderful things I prepared in advance for you. We have some celery, uh, red pepper, carrot, uh, cucumber and some asparagus. You know, you kind of do whatever you want. I'm also going to add in some organic alfalfa sprouts and I have been marinating these wonderful little button mushrooms in coconut aminos and um, garlic and dried garlic and dried onion. So just a couple ingredients there. So again, coconut aminos, if you want an alternative to soy sauce, you can do that. And then I made myself a little dipping sauce, so you can't really see. And the ingredients were this chili garlic sauce, maple syrup, lime juice, and more coconut aminos. So here we go. I'm gonna assemble them and take a bite so you can see what it looks like, because I've never tried this before. Oh, the other thing I wanted to show you is a cool kitchen tool um, this little thing that you like drag over your carrots or your zucchinis if you want to make zoodles or noodles and um, It's pretty easy. Oh, you can't really see me. I have to kind of be like over here Yeah, it's like it's really fun. You just kind of go like this and the lady at the fair She did a better job at it than me. Anyway, so have fun with your fruits and vegetables <laughs> Okay, so let's do it here. We got a pretty wrap we're going to lay down here. I think the first thing I'm going to put on is the uh, sprouts. Can you see? Oh gosh. Okay. Well, all right. I'm going to do my best here. I'm going to try to assemble them where you can see them over here. This is better. Okay, good. Good, Sherry. See, I'm adaptive. I was in the army for 20 years. I can, I can do this. I've got it. I've got what it takes. Okay. All right, alfalfa sprouts are on there. Now I'm gonna grab a few of these carrots and some peppers and some cucumber and celery, maybe a little less cucumber and asparagus, which is kind of like the unique part of this. Okay. And I'm gonna do a little bit of these herbs. So we'll do some mint, um, a little bit of basil, cilantro, parsley, we have a lot of parsley, so I'll do a lot on these. And now for the beautiful marinated mushrooms, which are also raw. I just pulled them out of the package, washed them off, and put them into my concoction that I created with the coconut aminos, garlic, and onion. Voila, there we go. We have a wrap. It's a wrap. <laughs> All right, so I think for this one, I'm gonna try to make it into a sushi roll just for fun. I mean, why not? We're here, we're family, let's just freaking do it. Oh shoot, I've already got a cucumber that snuck out. 
All right. I don't know, you guys. I don't know. We're, we'll just see what happens. I did just sharpen my knife. I will tell you, someone who juiced for 40 days, okay, I have to have a sharp knife and have to have a knife sharpener nearby all the time. So make sure that when you get your juicer, you get your good cutting boards, you get good knives and have a sharpener. All right, here we go. All right, I'll cut off the end here. Make this little piece here. Oh man, this is looking pretty cool. Oh, I'm excited. I'm really excited. Is this bite size? I don't know. Like, I, I don't even know. Okay. I want to do the taste test right in front of you, but I, I'm supposed to show you this first, right? Look how that looks. Oh my gosh. Okay. All right. It's falling apart a tiny bit, but we're going to do it. We're going to do dip it in this sauce that I made. Bump. All right. Taste test. Here we go. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh my God. It's very green. It's very salady. Um, it definitely feels like I could work through some evolutions of this, but that's it. Dinner is served. A raw vegan dinner. This is the kind of food that you can eat post juice fast. It's fun. You can play with it. And, um, yeah. It's so easy to just come up with ideas and just have a few ingredients available at home so you can make something. If when you're coming off your juice fast, you don't want to dive back into decadent things. So you start with fruit, do some smoothies, add in a little bit of salads and do some vegetables. And if you want to do something raw like this, it's super easy. So I hope you enjoyed this video and um, I'll make some more for you soon. I'm still chewing. <laughs> Take care. Love you, everybody. Bye.